Eklens are B. Analysis and data reconfiguration. Yeah, statistical analysis and data reconfiguration. 69,617. Staying clean for Q10 tonight. You're still in this, baby. What food did Joey's date steal that prompts him to declare Joey doesn't share food? Meatball sandwich, pizza, or french fries? You might know that a Joey special is uh, two pizzas. But that's not relevant here. Joey goes on a date with Phoebe's friend, and everything seems hunky-dory, except she steals french fries. <laughs> Joey simply cannot abide by that. French fries. Oh, we got some friends' head in this one. 65,034. I'm not showing you the door. I'm showing you Q11. Which of these actresses guest starred in the two-part series finale? Anna Faris, Ellen Pompeo, or Christina Applegate. The finale. Do you remember the finale? All three of these ladies appeared, but only one was in the finale. Christina appeared earlier as Rachel's sister, and Ellen was Missy Goldberg. But the finale featured Monica and Chandler's twins and their birth mother, played by Anna Faris, the house bunny. 49,687. New Anna Faris. We lost 15,000 there, but the rest of you... You've got the Ugazi. Q12, which of these careers did Phoebe give to her alter ego, Regina Falange? Businesswoman, notary public, or corporate lawyer? You gotta answer 12, 13, 14, 15. Just four more questions left, including this one, folks. It's in the left Falange. Phoebe used this whenever she needed a convenient cover up for her real identity. There was Dr. Falange, an ex sorority girl named Falange, a problem in the left Falange, and Regina Falange, a businesswoman in town on business. And we lost half of you there, down to 27899 as we're chipping away, winnowing this down. We start with over 650,000 of you friends heads. Is that friends fans? I don't know. But you got, you got three questions to go for $5,000. Here it is, Q13. In an alternate reality episode, the story Chandler sells to Archie Comics includes what key detail? No pulp OJ, wholeless Swiss cheese, or lumpless milkshakes. And yeah, we're starting to get deep right now, folks. Deep into the canon. In, uh, in real what-if life, Chandler is acting as Joey's personal assistant, doing all kinds of demeaning work. So he uses that as inspiration for his Archie comic. Joey doesn't like pulp. Reggie doesn't like milkshakes. Lumpless milkshakes is your answer. And we, again, we just chopped off 20,000 of you there. If you have an extra life, you're coming down to your last chance to use it. 11,912. Maybe you have an eraser. That eraser could be out there. Could be yours. Q14. What is the last thing said to Chandler before he is in the box at Thanksgiving? Prove it. We've got a box or get in there. In an act of self-flagellation, Chandler spends the Thanksgiving in a shipping crate because he felt so he would have spent it in the entertainment union, in the entertainment unit, but uh, Joey suggested the box. We got a box. <laughs> We've got a box. And we have... 7,917 HQDs surviving Q14, getting all the way. Mark 
marching down to Q15, the final round on this Friends Trivia Night. It all boils down to this. Over well over a half a million to start at 7,917 remain for Q15. In the very first scene in Friends, which of these is not a question asked about Monica's date? Does he like us? Does he eat chalk? Or does he have a hump? He started re-watching the series from the beginning in preparation for tonight's quiz. Well, maybe this should be fresh in your memory. After asking, <laughs> maybe admits that a man who eats chalk was a problem she once had to face. And Chandler is very eager to know whether he has a hump. But it would only be later in the show when... Friends would worry explicitly about dates, liking other friends. Does he like us? Was not asked. 5,830. You know what I'm telling you? You want HQ tonight, baby!